think it launches. Like my door fucking moves. Alright, man. That's it. You can't Groose and Grandma, dude. That, you're pretty fucking evil, dude. You can take Zelda, man. You can take her and do what you want with her, man. But come on, man. You gotta keep Groose and fucking Grandma. Laugh. <laughs> Fucking Glover shit. <laughs> so is there not another heart container? I mean, I'm just missing four pieces. <laughs> yeah, no shit, man. Cause I'm not gonna get the last piece. I'm curious. That also explain why we got really lucky and got the last two I needed, because there's actually four more. Could be that there's a... I have to kill Girahim and then go back and... Now I get a heart piece. Yeah, really. Can I just kill and demise forever? Would have been the best call. He appeared out of thin air. You can only come out of one thing. No. These doors. Try a little too hard on this dude. Just a touch. Is that his fucking ritual, dude? He's <laughs> missing four out. Oh, okay, man. Fuck that. One heart ain't gonna make a difference. Whoa. Getting actually cocked, my man, by fucking gear him, dude. dead then they can't fear his wrath. Well you actually see him summoning dudes. That's rare. We actually physically see the hordes coming into action. They're playing a moose right now. Cartoon, dude, we need to watch these cartoons and uh, did suicide bombers, man. 
This is getting serious, man. I didn't watch the cartoons in the Mario movie, man. I think I would really enjoy that. Gotta make it a date. Watch these actually right when I fucking come back. Causes the most issues here. Good boy. Hello. Just, yeah, why didn't we have like hordes of dudes the entire game? Like, what the fuck? Like, I mean, like, technically or like lore type of shit? I don't know why we didn't have like cool uses of like mass enemies. I mean, I guess I'm like a lot stronger now. I'm surprised there's this many dudes on screen, really. But a lot of them kind of just disappear when you spin this. I was here. I was here. Yeah, fucking hit If you can make impenetrable barriers, I can't jump down. Why doesn't he just put those barriers around himself? It. It's okay. Not a big fan. Crank on the pixie dust on her. Jesus, dude, the animations are fucking corny as all hell, man. God, they make him like way too anime MC, man. It does have a lot of hand holding and railroading. <laughs> Can't take his eyes off her, dude. He's just glued to her when there's an enemy right there. Yeah, this gal texture I saw that. 
If you like this game, it's alright. It's n not my favorite 3D Zelda, but I'm not like super bored playing it. It's fine. What the hell, dude? Is he turning a pillar man here? He's a stand, dude. Yeah, let me just have the slow reveal here. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Look at that budget and the scowl there. The Endless Plunge. I have that me all along. It's like a sumo match though, is that what we're going for? We need to do that again. I really hope this is the whole thing. Okay, it's not. Fucking had to trade at me all along. I know this isn't the final boss. <laughs> Eight years of not finishing the game and I figure out who the last one is. What the fuck? Do you even like it to attack him? Stabbing. Give him a little stabby. Yeah, not taking him out. You make it so that you fucking. You beat on the bunch and then you don't do it for a few seconds. I'm not trying to do that, I'm trying to do the shield, dude. That's why I wish the shield wasn't like a stupid nunchuck, because you're swinging and then you do a shield and it'll turn into a combo attack. Oh, you have to dodge it. What's the point of the shield half the time? It's easier to just dodge anyway. The last part is four sides of lag only one. Oh, 
I know. I wasn't born yesterday. I know, man. I'm fucking chilled. <laughs> Big shit now. What the fuck? Nice camera, my dude. I don't want to use this. Yeah, fuck it. Arms about to fall fucking off. Dude. Like make the last one this insanely fucking stupid like fucking. Stupidly long waggle fucking fuss, dude. Will they like retain some damage? Maybe this changes it at mid swing. This is fucking dumb as shit, dude. This is like boring as fuck. <laughs> He just changes in mid swings so I can have it for the rest of my life. Mid swing again. If it retained any damage, it'd be okay. But it doesn't. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he's not repairing it, it just appears to repair it. <laughs> he repairs it because he doesn't understand damage. You have to get him the first time. Try spin attack. I got it, guys. <laughs> Fucking hell. We're making it, we're winning. Spam spins. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I've seen on normal fights they'll do like one attack to get like an opening and then they just spin. And that fucking fight, a lot of, a lot of lag on them. <laughs> Trying to play Zelda? As soon as that cutscene started. Our washing machine decided to fucking take off like a jet engine. DP's good, man. Better than this. Dude, what the fuck is... There's like two things in the washing machine? Keep your randomizer would be cool. They have a Wind Waker one, right? I haven't, I haven't seen any of that. Yeah, I don't know why they haven't put Wind Waker or TPHD on Switch. I'm sure it'd be an easy port. Just like a combat pack, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> he looks like fucking Hercules, man. And Pete. Like raw dog, just the same shit. Does he just kill Gearheim here? Maybe he uses him as a sword. Not Ganon. Ganon. Photo Ganon. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know if it was evil, it's the spiky sword. Yeah, black and fucking spiky as fuck. He's really admiring his handiwork there, Jesus. Tosses it. Oh shit, dude. Bruce in the past. Bruce, the true hero. I mean, Bruce probably could have went one shot with the boss for us. But I guess catching Zelda is okay. Yeah, Bruce is like the thing that saves this game, dude. <laughs> the first thing he does is he gets torn by the, the god king Groose, man. Not god, not demon, all man, man. 100%, 200% man. At least this dude's just like a, a battle slut. I never, I don't mind like just battle slut fucking like battle holic fucking evil guys. My honorable, like, fucking battle chat, dude. Ah! Oh shit, dude. Wingman, Bruce. Granny had some info. Oh, he's got full power. This fight isn't too fucking annoying. Jesus Christ, this overly determined face. Memes, man. Depends on what it is. 
I know I'd appreciate beating this game, so I go to bed. Yeah, I heard this guy's pretty hard. Bruce is about as dank as it gets, but... What? I don't want to go in yet. No, I can handle cutscenes. Hour of waggling, though, man. That might be... that might be business, bro. I should go buy like a million fucking health bots real quick. To guarantee victory. It's like a joke. Joke large amount of health bots. In the last second here. He's like, wait here for our fight to finish. And I just leave. Oh, he's gimmicky? That sucks. At least, at least Gary Ham wasn't super gimmicky. He was just like really waggly. I want to grab some hearts, dude. <laughs> Can we actually leave? Okay, they don't let you actually leave. <laughs> oh, like, damn, man. Just fucking peace out and go like buy some health bar. Oh hey, it's Cruz. <laughs> oh, hidden dialogue boys. There's nobody oh. bother coming all the way back here. You guys don't have a couple spare hearts for your boy. <laughs> He's gonna chit chat. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, guess I'll just head on down the old dusty trail here and just handle that. Not full health there. Thanks, ladies. Alright, we got some of these. Secret recipe. Oh my god, I know! Take four lines of dialogue to tell me something you could just say in one sentence. And James, good luck. High rule, James. No, but me. Yeah, I wish we could just cheese it. Oh, we in the Kino fucking field of water. The sun in the back. Cinematic. Do we have to beat his nine lives, boys? How many lives did he have? Hercules? And fate? We're in his reality marble now too? Damn, this guy's pretty cool. The hate for the gods, isn't he a god though? Or is he he's the demon king and then there's the gods? He just wanted to kill everybody because he just hates shit. I don't want to What the hell is this guy gonna do with power? 
No, he wants almighty power. Oh, okay. The Triforce. He just wants to have magical, crazy power. <laughs> He's the bad guy. Yeah. I don't need, like, good motivations. If he's gonna be like fucking Giga Evil, just make him Giga Evil. Do multi blocks there. Oh, just dodge him. And you can't do the nunchuck thing very quick. Man. <laughs> okay, Goose is next. Oh, this is gonna be this guy's last fight either way, man. Flink tells Goose got it easy. I wish you could just- I wish it wasn't a fucking dungeon. It's just the fucking wackiest, shittiest shit. Yeah, let's go for a heal here. Now's when Bruce dies. You don't have much faith in Bruce, dude. He did a little shake, not that. Happened, but... What the fuck, you just have to sit here and wait for it? <laughs> this is fucking cheesy as fuck, dude. This camera is usual. What can we do after this block? I'm just Looks like you get some damage for that out there. I'm not a big fan of this electricity mode for hours, thing. Yeah, but that's the only chance you get to, like, attack him. You can't really, like, weave your shit in there. Oh, he goes for a third one this time. And then you attack him and you take damage, dude. This fight's kind of shit. <laughs> like, if you just had to, like, dodge the direction he's blocking, it'd be okay, but he just blocks and you take damage. So what, do you just sit there and wait? Not everybody's gonna have this shield. I mean, I was trying to do the Skyward Sword thing, but maybe they don't let you do it. Well, I figure we're gonna have a sword fight, but if it's gonna be a gimmick fight... I really wish we could go in with like full health. Yeah, because not everybody has the Highland Shield, so... 
It's not like a shield blocking thing, otherwise you just couldn't do it. Also destroy a skyward sword ship. Can't do it here anyways. I really wish you could just like shield quickly out of stuff. Like there's no cancels with your shield or anything. Cancel with dodging, but he has his range is too much. So you have to just only do like one attack. And right there, like, he'll just go for it. Like, it takes a long time to fucking swing a quick punch at me, dude. I could have just made it like the C button. This is where like motion controls are just kind of like. The sound box is like really cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys hear that? I'm gonna turn the bass audio down again, man. Probably just this game that's like that thing. Do it. No. Oh, you can do it. I have to wait for like some fucking lightning strike though. Nice dude. The fight that he does 100 million damage. His attack sucks. So. Bug my bank. I'd rather just sword fight, I guess this makes it easier. I just fucking. I should do spins though. I can't do like the pose, man. <laughs> like my fucking thing could be on. What's up, Jesse? I mean, the game's scared, so I know that shit. Like, I get it. Yeah, it didn't seem like a fight thing. I, I've used it in a couple fights, just in a weird way, but it was never a required map. first phase was harder, but the second phase, yeah, is like a... I mean, the first phase is all sword fighting, and then the second phase is all gimmick, and you expect the second phase to be more sword fighting. Like in Twilight Princess, the final phase is all sword fighting. The gimmicks came before that. Ocarina of Time, the same way. It was a cool fight, though. It was shit if it didn't have the gimmick though. Because that would have been really annoying to try to sword slot. Not a big gimmick he did, but it was better than having a really annoying heavy damage electro session.
It's like a fucking wrestler. Force the timeline shit here, dude. said last time. Of Bruce, just need that fucking clip of Wario picking up the princess and throwing her, and just taking the bag of money. Except the bag of money's Bruce here. Just fucking pick her up and hug her. <laughs> just fucking take Bruce and go. Mention yet that impost granny? I mean, it's pretty obvious, but I don't know if they actually do. <laughs> I think I just totally forgot about why this is absolutely zero character. Talk about the shittiest sidekick in all of Zelda. We're gonna get like the last second of personality finally. to tell you bro all this now I just hit the fucking hip again though I'm shocked they didn't make me do it myself motion one last send off motion control madness I'm surprised I did. Here is 
I think they'd just rather have a good animation for it. <laughs> Cuts in time. Linking this one, dude. Fuck, man, I was Jimbo and the one that we started with. I switched to my file I made eight years ago. I figured I'd finish it on this one. Had more stuff. I wanted to say Master Jimbo, dude. Fuck, man. I'm gonna beat it again. through so much we really don't know that at all they could have done with a couple cutscenes with Impa and Zelda together doing shit you only ever get to see them together like one ish outside of this place My sweaty bracelet. Just one, though. She got some big arms, dude. They're long. Be weird waiting for thousands of years and then you, for these guys who just walk like two seconds away <laughs> and you see her again. Howdy. Yeah, she looked like one. Yeah, dude, ditch this bitch, man. Granny's the one that matters. Granny Impa. <laughs> I should get shorter because she's old, bro. 
They had to make it like extra <laughs> pronounced. He's like extra old though, like millennia. <laughs> Do people get shorter when they get old? She had a lot of extra time to get old. Man. Yeah, boys. Well, she did get to live an extra bazillion years, I guess. Bruce just lost the love of his life, dude. I hope she did some shit during those few millennium, not just sit there the whole time. Grus <laughs> just lost it all, man. He gained it all, reformed, and then he lost it all, man. Saddest story in all of Zelda. Look how he sews the sheath, man. That scabbard or whatever. How do they always get that? Can we get a game about how the scabbard always just kind of appears? Did you know you're playing this game, guys? Ah, oh, here's the here's the title for twenty seconds. Jesus! <laughs> Just give me the credits already. I already gotta wait fucking forever for him. Okay, I have to press the button. Oh, like, that's pretty fucking awkward. I have to press A to go to the credits. What the fuck? <laughs> Maro Fujibayashi. Who usually directs these, man? I thought it was a different dude. Is this one done by somebody else, bro? Need to get some water. Turn back. New cutscenes? These look like they're new. Like, like they just should have had these in the game from the beginning. Instead of in the credit. To give me more personality for Zelda and her journey and shit, you know? Make me care about Impa more. Yeah, they could have decided to probably just play the Impa. I mean, I can see that. They should have been in the game before the credit. <laughs> Would have had more impact on the story overall. But I guess they're just really quick. What more fleshed out versions of these would be in it? First order business after this is to watch a speedrun and fall asleep of this game. Well, I mean, I could talk about what I think of the game. We've gone nuts already doing it, but um, God, this heartburn too is killing me. Jesus Christ, dude. Um, it was fine. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not judging anybody who likes it for sure. 
Watch a speedrun? No, oh, I love watching a speedrun of every game I play. Well, sometimes I don't make it through all of them, but... but... Yeah, the new shit seems cool. I've seen a little bit of the speedrun of it. Um... I don't know where we start. Gameplay... I guess that's the biggest thing. Um, I'm not a big fan of motion controls. If anything, you could say I'm, I have a bias against them. Um, I think there's a few things that are definitely bettered by motion controls. Aiming, stuff like that. The cases for motion control do exist in this game. The swordsman stuff. Uh, everything else felt really forced. There's only a few things that felt like they were really just nice with motion, and the rest was just we had to have it. Oji Kondo. Um, wasn't a huge fan. There's a lot of stuff I think was just kind of annoyingly motion controlled. But, yeah. I don't hate motion control as an idea. I just don't think the tech's really there for me to give a fuck yet. And I won't be for a while. Gyro control's fine, and Gapex like Splatoon and stuff, you know, it's great, and aiming stuff is good, but... Not so much on this. Uh. So I guess that's controls. Um, actual fights and, like, gameplay... This little game will be interesting for being the closest thing to the last of its generation of 3D Zeldas. Yeah. Shit, man. For all we know, this is going to be the last traditional Zelda, man. Who knows where they're going with Zelda after Breath We'll see, uh, I guess, with Breath of the Wild 2 where they plan on going. I don't know if that's going to be a, a mix of the old and the new, or they're just going to just keep going. This one definitely overall is more traditional. I feel like sometimes it tries to be its own thing, but in some of the worst ways, like... They'll try to, instead of, you know, having it be dungeon boss, dungeon boss, dungeon boss, they'll, like, have a backtrack section, and then you'll go back, and the area's different. I think there's too much reusing of fucking areas. There's only three fucking areas in the whole fucking game, and they're really not that strong. And, other than the fucking sand desert, which, there's not many reasons to go back to that, which, fine, just leave it be, just leave it be one good thing, you know? They just reuse the fuck out of everything. Be cool if it was just like once. Oh, no, that's what I'm thinking of. But they were using a lot. It almost feels like it's a fucking budget issue at some point. It feels like super padded, super tedious a lot of the times. And I'd like to think myself a patient person. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not a big fan of the world. Um, Skyloft is a cool town, but it's like a very small town compared to your average NPC town. The side quests aren't terribly interesting, and flying around, while cool in theory and cool for a little bit, is very barren. Very nothing. It's mostly just a cash in your goddess cube finds thing. Compared to Wind Waker and stuff, like, I don't even see it. The bottom of the world isn't even like interconnected, you can't, I mean, I feel like it's much more interesting having it be like, you know, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess E, where it's all connected. The world feels more like something, and this it just feels like a series of fucking fast travel points. So that kind of sucks. Oh, uh, the press buttons. I think the NPCs were good. They had some cool charm. Yeah, you know, Goose is fun. A lot of the salesmen are cool and shit. Well, that's nice. I don't like the music. I think it's got a pretty fucking piss poor soundtrack. Another one of those that goes orchestral and then loses like any soul it had. It's got a few decent songs, but nothing like powerhouses before it. I mean, even Twilight Princess, man, which tries to do like a MIDI orchestral, still has a better collection. Based Goose. Goose legitimately, like, 
if I had to rig the game, pops it up a couple points. Like, that's how good Groose is. Or maybe that's how whatever the rest of the game is. <laughs> that Groose can save it. Um, I feel like there's a lot of points where they could have had, like, some cutscenes. They could have had some cool visualizations. Uh, Bang brought that up earlier. When she's info dumping you in the very middle of the game, or like two thirds of the way through about all of the lore, it's just in a, a drab room and she just boom just dumps info at you. Or in like Ocarina of Time, it's this crazy cutscene that shows like the birth of the world and all that shit, and it's it's really cool, you know. I feel like it reeks a budget again. <laughs> There's just a lot of I don't even know if it's budget or if they just didn't really have the direction. I don't know, I'm not saying I need flash and glamour all the time, but it was more like that than it wasn't. That gets very wordy. Not a lot of personality in a lot of the main story. Because for 90% of the game, you're running around with Fi and she's a robot. And they treat her like a just rock robot. What do you do now? Whatever you want, my sweet. Because I have no mind of my own. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it was too focused on, on the gimmick and making it work good. And they lost track of like what makes a solid experience, man. A solid Zelda experience. It just feels like a lot of shit's piecemeal together. I mean the side stuff they try to do new stuff with you know the potions and the upgrades and like that's that's cute. I think the items you do get are fine. I think the the dungeon kits are fine in this. Uh, for that matter, I think the dungeons are fine. They're shorter. Some of them are kind of just gimmicky as fuck and tedious and long as shit. Like the first desert one with very little, hardly any like uh, Kiro San. Um, hardly any visual distinction between rooms, you know. Sure, I'm not gonna play it, but um, what else, man? I don't know. The story, I feel like it was trying to fit in to this like far flung timeline sort of deal so much that it like kind of just limits itself. It feels like you know, like demise and shit. He has to hit you with an info dump to explain Ganondorf, and then everybody else has to hit you with an info dump to explain the sword and the Triforce, and... I... I don't mind them all being connected, but this is the problem with, like, actually making them super connected, is, like, you'd get kind of less wiggle room with interesting stories. If you're gonna try to work within a framework like this, you're not gonna get, like, a Majora's Mask popping up. And again, I mean, you can still have a story similar to this and be like Wind Waker where it's really good and it goes through the same themes and all that and uses the same like plot devices, but like it's a new, they can just do what they want with the setting and enemies and new enemies and shit like that. I don't know. I mean, overall, it's, it's a fun experience. It's worth playing once. If you like it a lot, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't think it's a, a bad... Like a really bad game. I just think it's it's pretty average, man. And for a 3D Zelda, it's it's the worst one. I'd say this is maybe my least favorite Zelda. It might be close to my least favorite. Yeah, I mean, it's an average. It's, it's fine. Yeah, I'm not pissing on people, you know, it, it's totally fine. You know, it's got good points. I'm trying to say good points too, but, uh, you know, I was hoping that it would be a lot different than I thought it was eight years ago. I thought I was just in maybe a bad time eight years ago where I just was not feeling it. Because I like that. I love Zelda. Back then, too, I really fucking love Zelda. <laughs> that was the series for me. And it's, it still is, like, some of my f favorite games ever. So I was like, what's wrong with me, dude? Like, so I figured eight years later, I come back and play it. It's really, it's really just a game, man. I don't get how it had fucking, back then, it got fucking glowing reviews, dude. Like nines, tens, boom, by every, every fucking buddy, man. 
there was ever a Nintendo bonus, this would be the fucking game that got it, man. <laughs> it's holy shit. I think there's some objectively fucked things about this game. Zelda, how much gin you've been rocking, Perry? Did you just wake up? I, I forgot I've been up for way longer. Waggle, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's a good game. Or it's it's a, it's a decent game. It's like I took my brother. Pass the fuck out. Yep. Yeah, what else? I gotta get some sleep later, man. Yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, the next game we're gonna play, I don't know. If I'm feeling more Zelda tomorrow, we'll do a Master Quest. If I can get my GameCube controllers and all that figured out. Um, Castlevania 1's a possibility. Uh, the World Ends with you. I might start that up. Should be another Waggle Fest. I'll put on the Switch this time. do right of us or someday but I've watched a lot of animators so I want to work on some backlog for now. It'd be fun to try it. But we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, it just depends on what I'm feeling. Well ends with you is a pretty high possibility because I have that on on rent. I want to send it back. It will not be any more Skyward Sword. Glad we finished it tonight. If I get my controller, man, maybe we can do a quick run of Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap's hard to emulate because it doesn't save the pictures. But I've got it on the way here. Have to go summer, is that tomorrow? The new one? Thought it was within a couple days. Some Pokemon Snap, boys. Anyways, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, hope I didn't shit on your favorite game too much. I try to try to play both fields here. I think usually I like stuff a lot more than I don't. <laughs> so, not usually how it is, but I don't have a lot of good things to say about a game. But anyways, catch you guys later. Tomorrow night? I'm gonna roll tomorrow night then. Right. Oh boy.